Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have a kind of a realistic capacitor. We have a capacitor that has a plate area of 175 square centimeters, a distance between the plates, very, very tiny, 0.04 millimeters, and the dielectric used in there is Teflon with a dielectric constant of 2.1 and the dielectric strength, which is quite large, of 60 times 10 to the 6 volts per meter. That's why Teflon tends to be used for something like this in order to increase the dielectric strength. What we're going to do here is find the capacitance of this capacitor and then find the maximum voltage allowed. To find the capacitance, well, we have to use the equation for a physical capacitor. That capacitance is equal to K times epsilon sub naught times the area divided by the distance between the plates. So in this case, that would be 2.1. Epsilon sub naught is 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. That would be Coulomb squared per Newton meter squared. Multiply times the area, which is 175 centimeters squared, but now we have to convert that to meter squared. And since there's 100 centimeters in one meter, that means 10,000 square centimeters in a square meter. So 10,000 goes in the denominator. And the whole thing here divided by the distance, which is 0.04 millimeter, which again, converting that to meters, we have one meter divided by a thousand, I guess I'll put the one over here, and a thousand millimeters. So now we're ready to find the capacitance of this capacitor. 2.1, oh, 2.1 times 8.85 e to the 12 minus times 175 divided by 10,000 equals divide by 0 0.04 and then times 1,000 and we get 8 point, basically 8.1 times 10 to the minus 9 so this is equal to 8.1 times 10 to the minus 9 and the units in this case is going to be ferrets which is equal to 8.1 nanofarads so nano means 10 to the minus 9. So there's the capacitance of that capacitor. Now let's find the maximum voltage allowed to be applied to that capacitor before we exceed the dielectric strength. So in this case, V max is going to be equal to the maximum electric field that's allowed times the distance between the plates. The maximum electric field will be equal to the dielectric strength so this is equal to 60 times 10 to the 6 volts per meter. And we multiply that times the distance between the plates in meters would be 0 0.00004 meters. And let's see what we get. So we have 60 e to the 6 times 0 0.00004 equals. And the answer is not more than 2,400 volts. You apply any more voltage than that to the capacitor, you will destroy that capacitor because charges will cut through the dielectric, punch a hole through it, kind of like lightning, and your capacitor is no longer any good. And that's how it's done.